Women respect men who don't respect them. Now, why is that? The reason why women respect men who don't respect them is because those men are demonstrating on a very deep level that they are not willing to abandon their frame in order to please her. They are not willing to abandon their beliefs, their values in order to supplicate to her just because she has a vagina, just because they want to have sex with her. Okay, these are men who are demonstrating internal strength, internal courage. And because of that, these women not only gain respect for these men, but they also become sexually attracted to them. And this is the same reason why women do not respect weak men. Okay, women just don't have any respect for guys who supplicate to her, guys who fall under her beautiful woman spell, guys that she can control, guys that tell her everything that she wants to hear. Okay, women have no respect for these guys, you know, manginas, guys who white knight for them, guys who try to play Captain Savaho. You guys think you can manipulate your way into these women's pants by buying her free gifts, by, you know, joining her at the women's march, by cheerleading for feminism, and it never works. You guys never get laid, you just get used. Women will only respect you and feel sexual attraction for you when you are willing to stand up to them, when you are willing to stay strong in your frame and you're not willing to abandon your own beliefs and your own values in order to please her, in order to make her happy. Because as I keep telling you guys, you can never make a woman happy, you can only make yourself happy. You know, and if you ever want a woman to come close to being happy with you, the way to do that is by stop trying to make her happy. Stop trying to please her disgenuinely. Instead, start pleasing yourself and she will follow along. She will become happy just by seeing you staying strong on your own path and purpose, by you not feeding into her ego. Okay, that, that is what will make a woman happy. Okay, not you buying her gifts or you know, feeding into her femininity, or you know, whipping out your pom-poms and cheerleading for feminism or the gynocracy, that is not gonna make her happy. All you're gonna do is prove to her that you're just another one of her girlfriends. And she's gonna treat you as such. She's gonna treat you like you're one of her little girlfriends. She's not going to see you as a viable sexual dating partner. The way for her to value you as a viable sexual dating partner is to have respect for yourself. You have to have self-respect and you have to avoid kowtowing to her and any of her demands. One thing that women love to do is they try to get us to jump through their hoops, okay? And in pickup, we call this hoop theory where the girl is trying to get you to, to comply, trying to get you to jump through her hoops. Um, she might say something like, oh, if we were to go on a date together, where would you take me? right? It's very manipulative how these girls word things. How, where would you take me if we went on a date together? And because you want to entice her, you'd be like, well, first I would take you to the beach at sunset. Then I would lay out a blanket. We could have our little picnic there. I'd bring out the finest bottle of wine. Then afterwards, I would take you to this lounge with a European accent to it and you know you start telling her all these things you start supplicating to her you start jumping through her hoop without realizing that you're jumping through the hoop as I keep telling you guys women if they think you're alpha their first initiative is to try to turn you beta to see if she can turn you beta and if you allow her to turn you beta like so many guys do that is when she loses all attraction for you that is when she loses all respect for you and that is when she decides I am never gonna have sex with this guy. Okay, this is why it is imperative that you stay alpha. You stay strong in your frame. You stay fully confident and boisterous even in your beliefs and your values. You let her know exactly who you are and you don't back down. If she shit tests you, you shit test her back. If she throws little childish insults your way, you throw them right back. Right? You don't put up with it. You don't allow her to disrespect you. And under no circumstance should you ever respect any woman for the fact that she's a woman. Okay, and that's something that we've been brainwashed with since birth. Respect women. Respect all women, mister. How many times have you heard that? Especially you guys who are raised by single moms. I guarantee your single mom has 
taught you to be that way, taught you to be more feminine. Respect all women. It's like, no, you should not respect all women, much less should you just respect women for the fact that they have a vagina. You should respect people who earn your respect, people who deserve respect. That's who you should respect. If somebody's a piece of shit, if somebody's an a-hole, if somebody's garbage, should you respect them? No, there's no reason to. Male or female. No, men who refuse to kowtow to women, men who don't fall under a beautiful woman's beautiful woman spell, men who are not so weak that they feel like they need to validate each woman out there just because she has a vagina, men who don't live in such scarcity that they feel that you know every girl that shows them the least bit of interest they have to like glom onto you know the majority of women out there i think they said something like 80 percent of the women out there are trying to have sex with the 20 percent of high value men out there okay now what constitutes a man as high value besides just looks and physical attractiveness. What constitutes a man as high value is a man who is confident, a man who has high self-esteem, a man who knows his own value, a man who is willing, not willing to give up and abandon who he is, his frame, his values, his beliefs in order to please a woman, any woman, especially women that he's dating. The second you respect women for no other reason than the fact that she has a vagina, that is a moment that she will lose all respect for you. All of you beta male cucks out there and SJWs and white knights and Captain save a and manginas out there cheerleading for the gynocracy thinking that these women are going to pull their panties down for you just because you are supporting their causes. All you're doing is giving these girls the green light to use you like the sucker that you are to promote and further you know, their agenda, while at the same time never rewarding you with what you actually want, which is sex from them, which is love, which is a relationship. That's what you guys really want. Don't, you know, you're not fooling anybody, especially the women you're trying to manipulate. Because at the end of the day, women, they have no respect for men who respect them. The men that women respect are men who don't respect them, men who put themselves first. Men who demonstrate that they have self-respect. Their respect for themselves is more important than her respect for him. Okay, I am not going to respect any woman who does not give me a reason to respect her. If you want me to respect you and you're a female, you have to give me a reason to respect you. I'm not going to respect you just because you have a different package than I do. I'm not going to respect you for that. You have to show me and give me a reason to respect you. Right? And vice versa. I don't expect you to respect me instantly either. You know, I have to give you a reason to. That's the way it works. If you've ever gotten into it with a girl where you had like just a flat out heated argument with her and you just let her have it. You just went off on her. Right? You went into complete like dickhead mode. Might even cut her down a bit. You notice, instead of her like losing all respect for you, instead, you kind of see her eyes and just her body language and her, her aura kind of shift. And you notice she actually sits there and she starts to have like instant respect for you. Even after you sat here and cut her down and you told her off. And you might be baffled by that. Like, man, why is this chick all of a sudden into me? Why is she all of a sudden listening to me? Why is she all of a sudden silent and respecting me? It's because you just demonstrated to her that you have the ability to be masculine, to be dominant. Okay, and that's something that men these days do not exercise enough of is their masculine dominance okay just being a man most guys have forgotten what that's like it's funny too if you ever watch any of these like interviews where they're interviewing like a leftist an sjw a beta cuck and i've seen interviews like this where they'll just ask the guy point blank what is your definition of a man 
and the guy is just confused. He doesn't know what to say. Like a lot of these lefties, well, they'll answer things like, well, depends on how we define man. A man could be this, or a man could be that. They'll say things like, I don't think you can really box in the definition of what a man is. They'll say some garbage like that when really it's very clear cut what a man is. A man is a male who can demonstrate honor, a male who is courageous, a male who helps other men, a male who cares about the tribe, who tries to do his best, what's right, who has morals, who has standards, who has discernment, who is there for his family, for his friends. I mean, I don't think there's much question as to what the definition of a man is. There's really, you know, no question what a man is. It's very easy to answer that. Yet, you ask a leftist that question, you can look at these interviews up on YouTube. It's hilarious when somebody is interviewing a SJW and they ask him, hey, uh, describe your definition of a man. They can't just answer the question. They have to like talk around the point. They have to play all sorts of mental gymnastics to give you the politically correct answer. Look these interviews up yourself. They're hilarious. I think Jesse Lee Peterson, you guys who watch Jesse Lee Peterson, he interviews a lot of SJ. I don't even know how he gets these people on his sh to come to his show knowing that they're going to get pounded. Um, but he's interviewed some guys that are just like complete, like the complete definition, definition of a cuck. He's interviewed these guys and asked them point blank, what is your definition of a man? And not a single one of these guys can answer that question directly. Not a single one. They will try to redefine what a man is. They will sit there and try to redefine masculinity. They will sit there and tell you that you can't box in what a man is in, in just a few words when you actually can. You know, they'll tell you that, oh, what a man was, 20 years ago isn't the same thing as what a man is today and it's like they feed you all sorts of leftist bullshit blue pill matrix bullshit that will confuse you even more especially if you are a man if you're a young man trying to figure out who you are and what it means to be a man you know watching you know listening to these leftist cucks will confuse you even more this is why I tell you guys don't listen to anybody who wants to confuse you you know because as they say in the scriptures in the Bible who is the author of confusion Satan Satan is the author of confusion Satan wants you to be confused because I get a lot of uh, Christians in my comment section saying things like oh is this what God would want you to do it's like yeah absolutely God would want me to do this he would want me to clear things up and make sure that nobody is being confused about what their role is as pertaining to their gender you know God would not want me out there telling little boys that they should act more like little girls and telling little girls that they should act more like little boys you know and that's confusing the sexes and also it also says in the scriptures that he who harms children and confuses children shall be held accountable on judgment day so all you idiots out there who call yourselves Christians who are supporting all of this leftist bullshit uh, believe me you are not on the right side of history okay you should not be out there telling little girls to be more like boys and telling little boys to be more like girls okay but I don't want to get too far off topic women do not respect men who respect them they only respect men who respect themselves first okay and who make them work for their respect, who make them prove to them or demonstrate a quality to them that is worthy of respect. Okay, women don't respect men who just give them instant respect just because they have a vagina, just because they have boobies. Okay, that's what weak men do. Weak men respect women just because they're women. And generally these guys were raised, again, in fatherless homes by single mothers. Single mothers do a lot of damage to their children you know especially if they have sons single moms really really ruin their sons and you guys who are raised by single moms tell me I ain't lying you know if you want I will go ahead and pin the statistics of what happens to children of single mothers down below so you can see for, for yourself for you guys who think I'm just bagging on single moms look at the statistics for yourself from the US Census Bureau but I get a lot of women 
saying things to me like, hey, you know, do the women in your family and the women in your life know about these videos on your YouTube channel? Do these women that you're dating, your six girl dating rotation, do they know about each other? What if they found out? What if they found out about your content, your channel? It's like, are you, are you friggin' kidding me? I stand by what I say, you know, and I'm a public figure. I am not hard to find with a simple Google search. All you have to do is type in my name and you will find me, you will find my channel. There's really nothing to hide. And most women these days are like private investigators. Before they go out with you, they will Google the shit out of you. And believe me, these girls do that and they find out exactly who I am. But because I know the material is polarizing, when I meet the girl, depending on the type of interaction we have, I will generally tell her up front what I do. I'll tell her that, you know, I teach men dating advice, I teach men self-improvement and stuff like that. And I also tell them that, hey, I have a YouTube channel, okay? And it's a bit polarizing. I'm pretty upfront about that. So that way when they see it, they're not too shocked about it. And even the ones who are shocked, like, oh, I can't believe that you saying all that stuff. Not a single one of those girls has ever like called me and been like, you know what? I don't want to go out with you. So I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell up top so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video. Also more importantly guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Very, very important that you guys subscribe. It tells YouTube you love my content, you're digging it, and you want me to produce more of this red pill content. So make sure you subscribe as well. Also for you guys who want to support my work, support my content, and all of this red pill knowledge I'm teaching guys here even further, the best way to do that is by joining my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the most beautiful women on the planet. I'm talking eights, nines, and tens. Okay, these are the same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, every single week. Okay, and all of these women are under 30 years old. They're all cool, they're all good. They're not party girls or single moms or you know low hanging fruit like that. They're all cool women. The type of women that most guys would cut their right arm off for. So if you wanna support my work, that is the absolute best way to do it. Uh, the best part is all of the lessons and skills that you're gonna be learning in seven months of mastery can be used not only to pick up incredibly beautiful looking women, but they can also be used to create the lifestyle that you want for yourself, to get the things that you've always wanted into your life, okay? Because as I always teach students, life is game. Every human interaction that you have out there in the world, whether it be with men, women, doesn't matter. Every single human interaction that you have out there requires and involves pickup. It involves game. Do not kid yourself. Okay, whether you are negotiating a car purchase, as I've just picked up this fabulous Range Rover Sport. These cars these days go for well over $100,000. Uh, this car I picked up for well below invoice price. Not only that, but I saved an additional $10,000 off of that to the point where I can turn and sell this car and make a $10,000 profit if I wanted to. How did I do that? I did that because when I was negotiating a car purchase, I used my pickup skills. I used the same techniques that I learned in game to negotiate an even better deal than what they were offering me. Okay, and I also have a 65 Stingray and I just bought a Grand Cherokee as well. And even those cars, I can turn and sell them for a lot more money than what I bought them for. I mean, I'm talking thousands and thousands of dollars because when I bought those cars, I used my, my pickup and gaming skills. And these are skills you could use to game not only beautiful women, but to game the world, to game yourself. Okay, recently I've gotten into a lot better shape. I was starting to get into piss poor shape for a little while there because I was working so much and I started to fall out of shape. So once I identified that, I started working game on myself. I started working pickup on myself. And six weeks later, I got back into shape and even better shape than I was previously. So I want you to understand the skill of pickup is invaluable. It's priceless. 
It's a skill that you could use in every area of your life, okay, to 10x your life, to get the things you've always wanted in your life. So beyond just using these skills to pick up beautiful women, you can use them on the world, okay? And I'm not saying that in an evil way, use it on the world, use it on the world, no. I'm saying it in a positive way. You could use it on the world. You could use it to help people. You could use it to help yourself. You could use it to create a business, to create more income for yourself, to get the jobs you've always dreamed of. I was able to get six-figure corporate jobs with Fortune 100 companies, beating out hundreds of candidates, maybe even thousands, okay? Guys who went to Ivy League schools, guys who are way more qualified than I was, yet I was able to beat these guys out to get the job. How was I able to do that? It's because when I did my resume, when I went through the interview process, when I went through all of their psychological testing, I used my pickup skills, my gaming skills, and I got the job. This is why I'm telling you, these skills are a lot more powerful than you think they are, guys. Okay, because when you're a newbie and you first start learning this stuff, naturally, of course, you're going to apply them towards women, to creating a pool of dating options so you're not in such scarcity anymore. Once you've accomplished that and you've fixed that area of your life, which is major for most guys, you will begin to explore other areas of your life where you can use this skill, the skill of pickup. And you will quickly discover how powerful it is for gaming not only yourself, but the world. Okay, you could be at the negotiating table negotiating a car purchase and you will be able to negotiate something that is far beyond what anybody else can. You might be applying for a new job looking to boost your career and you will realize like wow I've got a powerful skill I could use to make 10 times more money than I've ever made before or if you're building a business you'll be like I know how to create this business to attract customers because I've got the skill of game, the skill of pickup, okay? It's invaluable, it's priceless. But right now it's only a buck, okay? So if you wanna join, just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.